These fighters left their mark on the conflict in Ukraine, and I will reveal the stories of courage and sacrifice of all of them. They include foreign volunteers who fought for Ukraine, combatants who fought for Russia, and the brave Ukrainian soldiers who sacrificed themselves or were gravely injured. Their lives, their legacies, their marks on history. I will also unveil the little-known story of a supposed girlfriend of Commander Mikhail Givi Tolstyk. Discover the stories that were forged in this war. Juan Camilo Camez Rodriguez, originally from Iquira, Huila, in Colombia, was always a hard-working boy willing to serve from an early age. He lived on a farm in the countryside, took care of the animals, and tamed horses. When the war began in February 2022, Juan Camilo decided to leave his country to join the International Legion and support Ukraine in its conflict against Russia. Since then, Juan Camilo has been fighting on the front lines since the start of the war. He witnessed many of his Colombian war brothers being killed during the conflict, but never faltered in his mission's objective. In Ukraine, Juan Camilo was known for his readiness and dedication to service. His colleagues considered him an efficient soldier, always ready to carry out missions. On December 13, 2023, Juan Camilo, who had been deployed with his unit to the city of Donetsk, fell on the battlefield after being hit by a bomb. Juan Camilo was 21 years old. Valentina Makarenko loved singing since she was a child and dreamed of performing on a big stage. Valentina moved to the capital where she began studying music and took her first steps in the music scene. Her father, Sergeant Vitaly Filipov, call sign Peyton, 47 years old, went to the front as a volunteer. He was killed in action on September 6, 2022, near Balaklia. Since then, Valentina decided to join the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine in the summer of 2023. Valentina was supposed to be a combat medic, but she ended up joining the 4th Separate Tank Brigade and became a machine gunner. In the Kharkiv region, Valentina met her love, Serhi, a fellow tank brigade member whom she was to marry on January 16, 2024. But on January 9, 2024, while on her first combat mission, Valentina Makarenko was killed by a Russian attack, and her fiancé, Serhi, was seriously injured. Valentina was 23 years old. Alexandra Shura Ryazantseva, call sign Yalta, is a native of Crimea. Yalta came from a family with several generations of soldiers. In 2013, Yalta saved wounded people who were participating in the Revolution of Dignity. In March 2014, along with other activists, she returned to Crimea, which had already been invaded by the Russian army without insignias. However, at the Armyansk checkpoint, the girls were detained and captured where they spent five days and were tortured. In captivity, Yalta was dragged by her hair by Russian soldiers who fired machine gun bursts into the ground near her. After five days, to the sound of gunfire, the prisoners were forced into cars and driven out of Crimea. After being expelled from Crimea, Yalta started her own business. Until 2022, she worked as a fashion stylist and collaborated with several celebrities and was also a costume designer in many films. At the same time, she was the personal stylist for Volodymyr Zelensky and the entire Kvartal 95, a television entertainment company founded by Zelensky. When Russia invaded Ukraine in 2022, Yalta joined the defense forces on the first day of the invasion. Yalta spent several days defending Hostomel, then patrolling the Solomyansky district and helping volunteers. In the summer of 2022, Yalta was invited to join the airborne assault troops and served in a separate regiment in the 78th Air Assault Brigade. Yalta had two dreams, to destroy the Armyansk checkpoint where she was tortured by the Russians and to return to her hometown. On June 11, 2024, while hospitalized in Zhitomir, Shura Yalta Ryazantseva passed away due to heart failure, a week after turning 40 years old. Alexei Milchikov was born on April 30, 1991, and at the age of 20, he posted photos on the social network Vokontakte, where he killed a puppy, then cut off its head and ate its meat. For this act, he received the nickname Fritz. He also pretended to be a fan of the Zenit Football Club from St. Petersburg. In 2014, Milchikov fought in the war in Donbass, using the call sign Serb. 
In September 2014, Alexei Milchikov organized an ambush in the Luhansk region, which resulted in the deaths of about 40 soldiers from the Adar Battalion and the 80th Separate Air Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Milchikov fought as part of the Batman unit in Luhansk and in the battles for Donetsk Airport. It was also in 2014 that Milchikov founded the Rusik Reconnaissance and Sabotage Assault Group. In 2017, Alexei Milchikov led the Rusik Group in operations in Syria, protecting strategic oil and gas infrastructure belonging to Russian companies. In April 2022, under Milchikov's leadership, the Rusik Group was transferred to Kharkiv, and the unit was accused of executing soldier Oleksandr Matsievsky. The Rusik Group and its commanders Alexei Milchakov and Jan Petrovsky were included in the U.S. sanctions lists for their special cruelty in the battles in the Kharkiv region. Benis Ijo, known as Black Lenin, was born on June 8, 1979 in Latvia to a Russian mother and a Ugandan father. From a young age, Benis Ijo was active as a member of the National Bolshevik Party in Latvia, where he became known for his radical activities. Black Lenin studied at the University of Latvia and pursued microbiology at Birkbeck College, University of London, for four years. From May to June 2013, he was in Palestine, where he participated in actions against the Israeli government. While in Palestine, Benis Aijo received medical training. Later, he moved to Russia and joined the Communist Party of the Russian Federation. It was then that Benis Aijo decided to fight alongside separatist forces in the Donbass region. He participated in operations in places like Debaltsev and Stanitsia Luhanska and was promoted to sergeant, initially serving as a gunner on a howitzer and later in a motorized infantry brigade. In 2020, Benis Aijo returned to Russia with a passport from the unrecognized Donetsk People's Republic and was arrested on suspicion of planning a protest. Black Lenin requested political asylum from President Vladimir Putin and was released from prison in February 2020. He was granted political asylum in Russia, as he had been convicted by a Latvian court for plotting the violent overthrow of the Latvian government. In 2022, Benis Aijo joined the Russian army and actively participated in the Russian invasion of Ukraine, where he continues to serve and has received Russian citizenship. Jordan Gatley grew up in Nantwich, Cheshire, a small town in England. From a young age, Jordan displayed a strong sense of duty and patriotism, which led him to enlist in the army. He served with distinction in the British Army and was highly respected by his peers and superiors. During his time in the army, he developed a deep love for his profession, excelling not only in combat operations, but also in leadership and training roles. In March 2022, Jordan Gatley decided to leave the British Army and set out for Ukraine, joining the International Legion. Jordan Gatley taught his team members how to use anti-tank weapons, a crucial skill that saved many lives during intense battles in Severodonetsk. On June 10, 2022, Jordan Gatley was killed by a headshot from a Russian sniper while helping to evacuate his unit during a fierce confrontation with Russian forces in the city of Severodonetsk. He was 24 years old. Vadim Voroshilov adopted the call sign Karaya in honor of World War II fighter pilot Eric Hartman, the most successful fighter ace in the history of aerial warfare. Karaya served in the 204th Tactical Aviation Brigade as a pilot from 2016 to 2021. According to the results of flight competitions, Karaya was considered one of the best pilots in the Ukrainian Air Force. In 2021, at the end of his contract, he resigned from the Ukrainian Armed Forces. He worked as a senior aviation manager at a civilian airfield. When the war began in February 2022, Karaya resumed his service. At the start of the war, he flew missions over Zhitomir Oblast. After that, he flew over Izium and the eastern directions, and later over Kherson Oblast. On October 10, 2022, during a massive missile attack, Karaya shot down two Russian cruise missiles. On October 12th, Karaya destroyed five Shahed-136 drones, three in southern Ukraine and two over Venezia, making him an ace in a day. Due to damage to his fighter jet, a MiG-29 Fulcrum, Karaya had to eject in the Venezia region, but before doing so, he diverted the jet away from the urban area, saving many lives. Karaya suffered head and neck injuries and underwent medical treatment. 
Vadim Karaya Voroshilov was awarded the Hero of Ukraine for his actions and earned the nickname Ghost of Venetia. Olga Granetska was born on April 27, 1983, in the village of Yurivka, Venetia region. Olga studied to become an accountant in agricultural production, but decided to serve in the army. She began her military service in 2007 as a radio operator for a separate communications regiment in Venetia. From the first day of the Russian invasion in 2014, she wanted to go and fight on the front lines. That's how Olga Granetska joined the 93rd Separate Mechanized Brigade, Kolodny Yar. As part of the battalion, Olga Granetska completed four rotations in the Joint Forces Operation Zone in designated areas. In 2017, she was transferred to the 131st Reconnaissance Battalion, where she served as a sniper and reconnaissance officer in Donbass. Olga Granetska faced a personal battle against thyroid cancer. Even after multiple surgeries and treatments, she continued to return to active duty on the front lines. Her dedication and courage were exemplary, as she endured pain and focused on her missions, always aiming for Ukraine's victory. But on May 14, 2021, Olga Granetska lost her battle with cancer and passed away at the main military clinical hospital in Kiev. She was 38 years old. Peter Fouche, from Fulham, worked as a carpenter and a taxi driver in London. He was also a sniper and a response officer for the South African Flying Squad, similar to the SWAT teams in the USA, after growing up and finishing high school in his homeland. Peter Fouche co-founded the charity project Constantine, an organization that provides humanitarian aid in Ukraine, including essential supplies such as vehicles, drones, uniforms, and food for soldiers. Project Constantine was tasked by the Ukrainian army to assist with rapid extractions of soldiers after they were wounded on the battlefield. In January 2024, Peter Fush was sworn in and officially joined the Ukrainian armed forces as a combat medic. During his service, Fush rescued over 200 wounded Ukrainian soldiers, was involved in evacuating civilians from the most dangerous frontline towns and villages, and also managed the delivery of humanitarian aid to people in these cities. On June 30, 2024, Peter Fush was killed in combat against Russian troops near Chasiv Yar, a town near Bakhmut, where he had been stationed since 2023. The charity he founded announced his death and vowed to continue working in the trenches. Joao Luis Chavez Natario, known as Rico Chavez, was a native of Braganca, Portugal, where he once served as a volunteer firefighter. Rico Chavez moved to France, and in 2018, the Portuguese joined the French Foreign Legion. When the war began in 2022, Rico Chavez traveled to Ukraine, joined the Carpathian Sikh Battalion, and was sent to the front lines. Russia accuses the Carpathian Sikh Battalion of being a far-right affiliated ground force that operated between 2014 and 2016 during the war in Donbass, and that was reactivated in 2022, becoming part of the Ukrainian armed forces. Russia also accuses Rico Chavez of executing a Russian prisoner of war and posing for a photo next to the soldier's body in November 2022. Rico Chavez was killed during a Russian attack in the city of Dnipro, which resulted in the deaths of at least five people and left nearly 50 others injured. He was 38 years old. Anastasia Slobodyanyuk, known as Snow White, was born in 1991 in Crimea, which was part of Ukraine before its annexation by Russia in 2014. Anastasia was shocked when she witnessed the funeral of a five-year-old girl killed during the siege of Slavyansk in 2014. When she saw a photo of the girl with ribbons and a white dress holding a doll in her coffin, she reportedly said, The unacceptable cannot be accepted. If you don't stop evil, you become evil. It was then that Anastasia Slobodyanyuk joined the Sparta Battalion, led by Motorola, and became a sniper for the armed forces of the Donetsk People's Republic. In the Sparta Battalion, she met and married Yevgeny Serkin. Snow White was wounded in combat twice. She fought in the battles for Donetsk Airport, where she was praised for her bravery in rescuing a wounded comrade under enemy fire. Snow White also participated in the defeat of Ukrainian forces in the Battle of Ilovaisk. Anastasia was rumored to be the girlfriend of Commander Mikhail Givi Tolstyk, with whom she allegedly had a personal relationship. On October 19, 2017, Anastasia Snow White Slobodyanyuk 
was killed by a Ukrainian sniper in the Spartak district of Donetsk. She was 26 years old. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to receive more videos like this. Write your opinion in the video comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video on Military Schedule.